let's swap. Oh, okay, and we come in. Oh, girls, nicely. See, this is the issue with giving them choose. Bonnie, go with you too. Hold on, guys. Give me a sec. Where's Bonnie? Okay, she's eating a chew. It's fine. So this is the issue. When you have two dogs that, and they're eating food, you, I don't know if you guys get this, but when you have two, like, especially puppies, they end up getting, like, uh, like food aggressive. They don't like it when the other one comes over to their food. Every single Cavalier, like, the breed of dog that I've had, they always do that. They're like, don't you dare come over to my food. And they go and, like, uh, they go and, like, tell them. I've had that with every single dog. This is why I don't really like giving them chews, like when I can't like sit there and stare at them. Cause uh, honey, Bonnie walked over to honey and was like, what are you doing? And then honey was like, get away. <laughs> oh my God, you went to Portugal. Oh my God, Portugal is lovely. Where did you, where did you stay in Portugal? I've, I've been to Portugal once I think. Uh, and it was, it was really, really nice. Uh, all right. So I really quickly want to give Abigail some clothes because I feel really bad because this girl is just running around with like no clothes on. So I feel like I should do her a favor and um, and give her some clothes. I, I mean, we don't have to like try super hard, but at least like the people that I'm friends with at least need clothes, right? Yeah, you know what? Every time I come to this lot, I'm like, that's so many fireworks. Like what the actual? <laughs> I mean, that's a cute dress, but like, nah. But like, nah. Um, what's her style? Like businessy, like kind of like what's that? Like geometric pattern? Hmm. Okay. When are we playing Whimsy Challenge again? That will be coming. Um, possibly at the end of this month, if I can manage to get the time skip done. I've gone ahead and given everybody makeovers, so now I'm just waiting on the um. I'm just waiting on the time skip bit. Near Porto was so nice. Oh, was it sunny? It honestly, it sounds really, really, really nice. All right, let me, um, just wondering what I should dress her in. Mm. I wanna do it quick so we can play. Cause I don't, I don't know. As much as I like chilling and create a sim, create a sim's only so fun. Especially when there's gameplay to be had, especially with Gia. Like Gia's, <laughs> Gia's just really fun to play with because she just gets up to all like this mischief and I just enjoy it. <laughs> uh, okay, Bonnie's falling asleep. She decided that she's gonna call it a day with the chew. She's like, yeah, nah, the chew's a bit overrated. I'd rather just sleep. <laughs> Lauren, don't forget hosting. Thank you, Tiffany. Uh, guys, if you want to go ahead and host the stream, I would really appreciate it. Um, what hosting does pretty much is just gets us in the algorithm so that other people can join us. Like, you know, uh, Twitch ends up recommending us to people on, um, uh, Twitch ends up recommending us to people that are, you know, watching Sims. So we can have new people join our community. Uh, you don't need to have any followers to host. Uh, you can just host, you know, no matter what. Um, and if you want to know how to host, my mods will put the information in the chat as well. Um, so you can go and check that out if you want to host. But I would very much appreciate if you did. Yeah, this is one of Gia's friends. Uh, she works with her, but also she... Um, yeah, they, they go out like a few times and every single time I go out with Abigail, she's like, she's wearing no clothes and it's getting to the point where it's a little annoying. So I decided that we should probably give her a makeover because <laughs> yeah, it's just becoming that issue where we just keep going out and she's just naked all the time. So we're, we're fixing her up, but it should only take a second. Let's give her sleep well. Hmm. Let's do some nice little pajamas like that. Party well. Oh, girl. What is that outfit? Mm -mm -mm. Um, what would she wear? She has like business chic. That's her style, right? I do have a question about Gen 4. Is it a requirement for your sim to marry somebody of the same gender? Or is that optional? It's going to be mandatory. Um, the way that it's going to work is that like eventually you'll end up... Um, so did you hear the information that I gave about Gen uh, 4, Kira? Where you end up in a relationship with somebody of the opposite sex. You end up um, getting pregnant or having children with them, like whatever way around it is. And uh, then you end up uh, moving on afterwards and your partner is really supportive of you. 
and uh, you end up moving on to uh, somebody of the same sex. You know, like uh, you end up getting with somebody like later on because you end up getting a divorce and realizing that like you're not in like as much as you love that person, you know, you just don't think that's right for your life. Does that make sense? Um, that's kind of the route that we're going down for it. I'm very excited for Gen, for, uh, Gen 4. Yeah, I'm really excited to write up the information for it too. Oh, that's cute. Honestly, she looks really good in that. That looks really nice on her. Um, but this is supposed to be party and that doesn't look very party-ish, does it? Not really getting partiness from this. I mean, that's... Is it just me who hates... I really, really dislike this dress purely because of the texture of it. I think it's a really horrible texture. I don't know why. Maybe if we give it a pattern, it's not so bad. But like, I really dislike the texture of the of the thing. It's quite, yeah, it's quite annoying. I mean, that's not so bad. I don't know. Ah, you know what? It's not that bad. It's not, it's not that bad. Where's Bonnie? You all right, Bonbon? What are you doing? What are you doing, Bonnie? still her chew oh they've swapped chews now what's up hold on guys bonnie's like stalking around I'm gonna come up come up here come say hello <laughs> you're bon bon let me get let me get the fake cam on up Hello, bonbons. Say hello, my bonbon. Oh my god. Say hello to bonbon, everyone. Say hello. Hi, bonbon. <laughs> it's my girl. It's my girl. Hmm? <laughs> She's beautiful. She's really sweet. Look, she's falling asleep in my arms. She's a massive baby. Like, like as soon as you pick her up and you like cradle her, she just starts going to sleep. She is. She's shy. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put her back down. I'm also gonna take the chews off of them so they can go to sleep. Give me, give me one sec, guys. Hold on. Choose. Off to sleep. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> Are you going to come up with a non modded version of your challenge? Yes, Erin. When I get to Gen 5, I'm going to make a version of it that's non modded. That's the idea, at least. So. Yeah, we're going to do that. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, <laughs> show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not that ever been, been done, done before. before. <laughs> um, I don't know what. I guess those are fine. To be honest, I really, like, I don't care as much just because, like, as much as I, I want her to be dressed when we go out, but then also I don't really mind that much, you know? The girls are so distracting. <laughs> Oh, I'm in the wrong screen. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Not me, professional streamer. <laughs> um, we'll give you a nice uh, one piece, maybe. Something like that. That's cute. In the orange. Yeah, because I know a lot of you guys have wanted to play it. Like if you're on console, or you don't want to have the mods. So I was thinking it'd be a good idea to like do a non-modded version. Because there's, you know, there's a lot of people that want to play alongside that don't have mods uh, either. So... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do one of those as well. Mm. Okay. The girls are just, <laughs> they're all over the place, guys. <laughs> they're like not sitting down. They're just like walking around everywhere. Oh my God, of course I stream. Oh, I, oh, I am. Um, 
the, the reason why I, I can't even believe I didn't mention this. The reason why I've got the girls today on stream is because my mum's actually in hospital. Um, she's in hospital for the next like f three to four, uh, three to five days. Um, she's actually having a hip replacement. So it's just me, my dad, and the girls. Uh, so yeah, that's um, that's been happening. <laughs> so that's why I've got them in the room with me, and they are just causing issues. <laughs> Uh, she's okay. I've I've spoken to her. She she woke up from surgery earlier today, and uh, yeah, she's been pretty good since uh, since then. So she's actually like recovering a lot quicker than they thought. Um, but it's more so like um, they need to like see how she progresses. You know, like if her if her bone fractures uh, is something that they need to look at. So yeah, um, she's gonna at least be in until tomorrow potentially Wednesday, uh, but she could she could even be in until Friday, they said. Honey, go lay down. Bonnie, go lay down. Sending love for your mom. Oh, I'll tell her you guys sent her loads of love after I come off stream. I'll go let her know. She'll be happy to hear that you guys were giving her like well wishes. Um, I really don't even know what to dress her in. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm giving her the quickest makeover that I feel like I've given any of my Sims. I'm, and this is why it looks pretty horrible, I'm guessing. It's not, I've got, I've got to admit, guys, it's, it's not my best work. I, it's not my best. <laughs> Hi, Flaming. Who's this cutie? This is Abigail. This is uh, one of Gia's friends, so... We're just giving her a little makeover, making sure that she like, you know, looks cute enough where she's not naked every single time we go out. Because right now she's just been naked every time we go. So there we go. All right. We're done with her makeover. At least now Abigail's not naked, which is what we want. Oh my God. She has a child. Oh yeah. I forgot she has a kid. I forgot about that. <laughs> Honey, in your bed. In your bed. Go. In your bed. Good girl. Very good. Very good girl. I take four hours on my Sims and create Sim. No, I'm the same on my own Sims. But when it comes to like Sims that I like, my Sims are friends with, I'm like, I can't even bother to do anything more than your everyday wear. <laughs> Is it just me who always leaves like Sims, like formal wear and outer wears and things? It just doesn't bother with them. So you end up with a bunch of naked Sims running around. It's a bad habit that I need to get out of. Who's Raphael? I will introduce you to Raphael right now. So uh, Raphael is um, the guy that we was hooking up with yesterday. So in yesterday's stream, we met uh, our boss called Raphael. And Raphael and Gia have like a really, really good relationship. Um, they like got on really well. It was just like natural chemistry. Um, he's also, uh, well, she finds him really attractive, but he's also active as well. So they have that in, you know, they have that in common where they're both, because she goes to the gym like all the time as well. Um, so yeah, we have a feeling that potentially Raphael is going to be like future material. You know what I'm saying? But for now, um, we've got to work our way up the, we've got to work our way up the line of, uh, of, of, of husbands. Raphael loves the arcade. Yeah, he does. He did want us to go to the arcade the other day, didn't he? She wants to get a manicure and earn 500 simoleons. Okay, well, I guess we could do that. Why don't you go grab yourself a drink? Because she's feeling like really tense. Oh, where's the... Where's the, uh, the bartender? Um, I just want to get my girl a drink and there's no mixologist. Okay, sure. Wait, who's that? Is that Tobias? Oh no, that's Maximiliano. Hi, Look Lauren. Them. Hope Hi, you are well. sweets. I'm I have good. missed you. We almost have you a too. Twitch baby. <gasps> you are a joy to watch play The Sims, and I'm so thankful for you. I hope you know the difference you have made in my life Aww. and the lives of so many others. Love you. Oh, Bookworm, you're so cute. Thank you so much, sweets. I really appreciate that. Hi, Dawny. Hi, lovely. Hope Hi. you're having an amazing <laughs> day. Thanks for such fun streams and videos. Much love, XOXO. Oh, I'm glad you like them, Dawny. Thank you so much for the uh, for the Prime sub for four months as well. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. 
uh my screen is just like ha like hanging off hold on can't see any of these like little updates Bonnie, go lay down oh, the girls keep getting up and like trying to eat things Bonnie, go lay down in your bed Bonnie, in your bed stop just trying to find cables to chew on like <laughs> i swear to god this dog Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the poll, Lauren. What was the poll? Was the poll about Raphael? Because I saw that one a little bit earlier, but I didn't see what the results were. Are you just, oh, you're just playing ping pong with this lady? Okay. Stevie Whiffle Clover? Didn't, don't we know a Whiffle Clover? I swear we knew a Whiffle Clover. I like your background. Thanks, sweets. So Lauren, this stream will be you constantly telling the girls to stop. I'm hoping not. Once they get settled, they're okay. And then they sit and then they just chill. But um, sometimes, you know, like if they're in that sort of mood, they just won't settle and they'll just try and like walk around and like eat things. And it becomes the bane of my existence. Oh, the mixologist is here. Great. Okay. Let me come and order my favorite drink. Let me come get that, that nice strong drink. Where's our, where's our friend? Oh, Elena's here. Uh, our drug dealer. Cutie. Hey, babe. <laughs> our drug dealer's mom. Oh, my God. Imagine coming to the club with your mom. So cute. What a great relationship you have with your mom, Elena. That's that's dead sweet. I wonder if she knows that her daughter's a drug dealer. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> who are these people that call us? No, but like, seriously, who who are these people? Right, Gia would say under what conditions? She's not stupid. She's not gonna just gonna go. Like, yeah, yeah, so money, money, money. She's asking under what conditions, and we get a nice free two thousand five hundred. Elena looks pregnant. I don't think so, my girl. That looks like a washboard stomach. That looks flat as anything. I I can't see it myself. <laughs> She would say money because she's greedy. I mean, she is greedy with money, but she's also smart. So it's like, mm, which one? Which one though? All right, she's finished with her drink. I think Abigail left. I think my friend just invited me out here. Oh my God. Oh, this guy's a vampire. Why is she walking around in this ugly ass outfit? Like my girl, could we not, could we not have won something a little bit better, please? Um. I do want her to meet up with Tobias because Tobias asked us out on a date the other day, didn't he? So I feel like I should like reciprocate and ask him out on a date as well because, uh, well, he asked. So if he doesn't accept now, like, oh, send drunk text. Do you have to have like a little bit of romance with somebody to ask them out on a date? See, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that you have to have relationship with somebody or romantic relationships to ask them out on a date. I don't agree with that. Cause like, I wanna ask out Tobias on a date, but cause he's already asked us on a date, but they just don't have any romance yet. I'm considering just like going in and giving them, set it to 10 or higher to establish the romance bar. So I'm considering setting it to 10 and then getting rid of it and then setting it to zero. And then now they should have a romance bar and then she should be able to ask him out on a date like he asked her. No, not. I guess my technique didn't work. Uh, okay, how do I... Is there a way to ask him out on a date? Exactly. Like, you definitely can ask people out on a date even when you have no romance with them. That Like, in real life. Maybe I'll just have to ask him out, like, just normally, you know, like, just travel and do it like that. Let's do that instead. Let me just travel. I'll invite him out and then we'll sort of go from there. Where is he? Will he be in the romance option? See, look, now I click on romance. He's still in here. Like, what? I wish there was a mod for that to change it. I wish there was a mod. <laughs> um hi minzy welcome to the stream this is my first stream and of course i missed half of it oh it's okay don't worry we've only just started playing a little while ago so we've just got in and, and just started here 
We haven't played for too long. All right, Tobias is going to go out with us. So it's not a date right now. We've just asked him out, like, you know, just to grab food or something. So now I want to ask him to go. She's kind of hungry. So I was thinking maybe we should go grab some food somewhere. Um, but we could always just go to a bar and then grab food at the bar. Just sit down and chat at the bar. I mean, he's the one that asked us out on the date. So, I don't know. <laughs> oh, let me put the music back on. Now that there's not like really loud music. Hi, No Chill. How are you, sweets? Um, what's just happened? So, we've just started playing a little while ago. And uh, Gia uh, was just at the nightclub from where we left off in yesterday's stream. And then um, now she's meeting up with her boss uh, to go and hook up with him. Um, <laughs> the way that I just say that all casual, uh, all casually, but it's kind of true. <laughs> let me um, let me get her changed into something nice. Let's get her in. Mm, he's wearing a casual outfit, so I, I feel like she should wear casual outfit too. But I'll get her in a nice casual outfit, you know. This is boss number five. It is, yeah, because she's at level four, so he'll be he'll be our boss level five. Oh, she needs one more level of research and debate to be able to get promoted this time, though. So we're going to need to do that. We're going to need to make sure we do that. All right. Why don't you come and order some food? Let's grab um, some French fries. That will do. And then we'll grab him and invite him inside, too. <laughs> it's super normal, right? <laughs> it's super normal. Oh, who's that? Oh my goodness, guys. Did you guys just see who that was? Alveta? This was Nikita's best friend. So our Gen 1 heir, that was her best friend. And she's now she's now a ghost because she died, obviously, in that fire, didn't she? Yeah, it was sad. It was incredibly sad. I can't believe she's like chilling at the bar. Okay, queen. <laughs> Oh, do we need to, uh, oh, we need to come sit over here. Okay, come and, um, come and sit down with me then. You come sit. No, no, you stay. Okay, you want to sit over here? Fine. Bring it over there. What is going on here? Stop. <laughs> Go, sit over there. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Why are we playing musical chairs? Sit down. Okay, right. Um, let me... Uh, I need to ask to be talking the same language. Switch language. Let's use Simlish. This music. Let me turn it down. Here you go. All right, let me pause my music since you've given me some, some jammers. Um, all right, Tobias, look. Okay, you obviously asked me out on a date yesterday. So I'm just like, you know, I'm just, uh, we're, ju we're just doing it. Uh, we're just redoing basically what he asked us to do the other day. Because, I mean, he is the one that asked us out. Wait, does she know that he has a wife? Because this was the thing that we realized in yesterday's stream. He asked us out on a date, but he's actually got a wife. So, mm. <laughs> can we, I need to, I need to talk a different language with you. Can we talk Simlish? Yes. Okay, great. Now I should be able to talk to him properly. Lovely. Okay, friendly. Um, let me ask him about his day. Maybe ask him how work was today, you know? Brag about job title? Okay, no, he's your boss. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to try and get to know him a little bit. Oh, he's family oriented. And he's going to cheat on his wife. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely. Okay, why don't you go and be flattering to him? Tell him how much you appreciate being asked out on a date the other day. Yeah. Is he going to sit down or is he... Where are you going? What, you got 11 p.m. bedtime or something? Like, where are you going? Are you kidding me? Quick, go give him a bold pickup line before he leaves. Quick, grab him before he leaves. Oh, he decided to stay. Oh, she got him. She got him with a bold pickup line. <laughs> He's just accepting everything. Oh, and now he feels really flirty in like one second. All right, let me go and ask him a risky question. I can't believe he has a wife and he asked us out on a date. Like the scandal. <laughs> the scandal. 
Let me go and gossip about our co-workers a little bit. Maybe talk about like our ex-lovers, but not mention that we had anything going on. The wife called? Oh, that's why he tried to make it look like he was going. And he was like, actually, Gia sounds like the better option. <laughs> um let me go and discuss work with him like not sound too suspicious and then let me go for blowing him a kiss and see what he does go blow him a kiss go on let me see what he does what did he do did he just accept it he's such a dirty cheater and now he's trying to leave mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. You are not leaving now. I need to, well, we don't need to woohoo tonight, I guess. But we could do. We could woohoo tonight. <laughs> He's playing hard to get. I'm pretty sure every guy that she's met, she's always woohooed in that same night after she's gone out with them. So if Tobias gets away, he'll be the first, seriously. Do you got the impression that Tobias finds her quite attractive? I mean, she said that about every single guy that, <laughs> she said it about every guy. Wait, I want to ask about relationship status. And now she's going to be like, well, you know, I just want to double check that you're single uh, and everything, considering, you know, you've been asking me out. Let me go and ask. And then he's going to be like, actually, no, I'm married. But that that doesn't matter. That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't matter, really. Let me go and hold his hands. If he accepts me holding his hands after he's told me he has a wife, then he's making it quite clear that he doesn't care about his wife. Yeah, like I said, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Hi, Mrs. Dredd. Uh, we've just been playing for like, maybe like 20 minutes or so. All right, I'm gonna send her home. Uh, Cause she's actually, I might send her to the university to go and work on that research and debate skill. Um, Cause she needs that up before she can get promotion. So tomorrow we'll invite tobias over somewhere to hook up with him you know officially and then uh she should be good to get promoted the next day so let's go to brightchester and go and do that hi jazz i missed you too how have you been sweets what have you been up to and then yeah let's go to darby's den again You can practice debating on a mirror. Are you kidding? I've just got all the way out here for nothing. Great, incredible, amazing, <laughs> amazing. All right, go um, go get on the the archive machine, and then research. Is it not in here? Oh, maybe research logic. I think that's what we did last time, and then it improves both skills. Yeah, that's what we did last time. Yeah, look, her research and debate skill is going up so quick. Look at that. Okay, she's already done it. Research and debate level three. Nice. Uh, oh, her logic skill actually isn't going up, I don't think. Even though she's researching logic. Interesting. <laughs> oh, Jazz. I'm so sorry, sweets. I'm really sorry to hear that. Guys, could we get some love in the chat for Jazz, please? Can we get some love? Huh. Professional simmer here. Look, I'm trying my best, okay? I am. I'm out here trying my hardest. <laughs> Look, okay, you guys are my like, you guys are my wisdom, right? I come to my I come to the stream and you guys are the ones out here giving me the wisdom. I'm just out here playing the game, you know? It's a joint effort between the both of us. Glad I haven't missed much. No, you haven't missed much at all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it will be when she is finished researching i had a yeah i had a i had a stop i cancelled out of it dang it started crying again it's been it's been rough honestly oh jazz i'm so sorry babe i'm hoping that the stream can like at least keep you you know entertained for a little while i get this sometimes it's it's difficult as well but um it is good to like you know take a break from what you're feeling and just like be numb for a little while you know so um yeah hopefully hopefully the stream can get keep you a little bit busy as well huh. lauren is the beauty and we're the brains that's cute <laughs> you guys are the beauties too though we're all the beauties out here okay <laughs> i mean i can't i gotta admit i'm certainly not the brains out here 
there's certainly a lot of brains in chat, but it's not coming from me. <laughs> um, all right, you go grab some food and then head off to sleep. Oh my God, it's 3 a.m. She's probably not gonna be able to do any working out before work tomorrow, because she's gonna wake up too late, but it's, it's fine. You go get some decent sleep. How long has she got until she ages up? Oh, she's got ages, like 23 days until she's an adult. We're good. <laughs> the brains isn't coming from me either. It must be somebody else. Well, maybe there's enough of it to, to make up for it, Flaming. Enough from everybody else. All right, she's going off to work again. Uh, she needs to not get promoted today. So I'm going to have her um, just work normally. Just so she definitely doesn't get promoted. If we earn enough money, we can definitely finish doing her house. Yeah, because it's looking a little, it's looking a little barren today. Like, it needs a little something, you know. I mean, at least we got a TV. It's better than having no living room, which is what she had before. Uh, she earned two hundred and sixteen today. That's not bad. That's not terrible, I guess. She's in need of a little bit of fun. What would Gia find fun? How can we kill two birds with one stone? Take Tobias out and sleep with him. And also get our fun up. Oh my gosh. Let me just fill you in in case you don't remember who this is. This is our old boss, our ex-boss when we first got into the business career. And he goes, can you believe I decided to adopt a toddler? We've already done so much together. Yeah, we've done a lot, like <laughs> the full work, you know what I'm saying? So no, I really don't want to <laughs> come over and check out your toddler with potentially your wife. Like, <laughs> oh, a bit of Netflix and chill. Oh, that sounds good. Should we invite him over and do a little bit of woohooing? Oh. Okay, she wants to go to the ancient ruins. What about if we bring Hallie to the ancient ruins? And we'll also go, or, uh, also go, we'll also ask to bring uh, Tobias out as well. Um, we're just going to casually bring our boss out with me and my friend. I'll be like, oh, hi, I actually just brought Tobias along. Hallie's going to be like, really? The next one? <laughs> Another? <laughs> I think he meant we as in him and the toddler. No, no, I don't think so. I really don't. I think he's being incredibly suspicious. Oh, how extremely convenient. I mean, oh, Abigail just decided to invite herself along as well. Okay, cute. Oh, and, uh, and okay, the other boss as well. Okay, Tobias, I need to grab you, ju just you in particular. Let me just disband the group. And then I'll just grab Tobias and um, I'm gonna ask him to come and sit somewhere. Let's go sit on this bench together in the rain. Cute. <laughs> How scandalous it is. It's a lot. <laughs> Hi, Catherine. How are you, sweets? I hope you're doing okay. All right. Let me grab Tobias over here. And then let me um, do a little bit of romancing. I need to woohoo with him by tonight. So I'm going to go confess our attraction and ah, tell him Manila. how gorgeous Maybe. we think he is. We've been looking Manila. at him across the office, you know, so telling him about how attractive sure. we think he is. And then, um, sure. can we just go straight in for the woo? <laughs> Let me, I'll make a move. Oh, girl. You go make the first move, go on. Show him, show him you mean business. Show him, oh, he stood up, damn. You're a runner, aren't you? He's a runner, he's a track star. <laughs> All right, come back. Um, I need to... Do you like what you see? Wait, I want to know what he says to that. Ask him if he likes what he sees. You look good. How about we go someplace for the two of us? He knows. He knows. Oh, you want to come back to mine? Okay. You want to come back to my house? That's fine. I mean, I guess, you know. <laughs> right, let me go and ask if he wants to come back to my house. I'm going to make sure Hallie's not coming. Um, we're not doing a like a uh, three-way love triangle over here. <laughs> and then let me uh, bring him back. 
Hi, Harry. The face cam looks a bit dark. It's because I turned down my light above me today because um, it was getting too bright in the last stream. I could, I can turn up the face cam light though. I think I can do that. Um, let me see if I can do that. Hold on. Oh, the puppies are being so cute. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. Okay, it's not that. Is it this? Yeah, it's this. Okay, that should be a bit lighter. Is that better? Bruna? Is that a little bit better? Is that a little bit better? Oh, Alba's calling us. What does Alba want? No, sorry, Alba. I'm a little busy today. Actually, we haven't seen our mum or our dad or our sister since we moved out. We really should go see them this weekend. What do you think? Flirty vibes. Oh, he knows. He literally turned up here in his pants. If he doesn't know. If he doesn't know. Right, go in and give him your first kiss. Now that... I mean, he's kind of made it obvious that he's here for, like, you know, the deed. So, I feel like we should get a move on with this and just get him in the bedroom, you know? You know what I'm saying? And then... Can we woohoo yet? What? I think we need high romance. <laughs> Imagine showing up in your boxes, like, being super ready for this. I see you. I see you. Go and give him a nice sexy pose. We did. We finally switched the bed. There was enough moaning in chat that I finally switched it. I think she needs one of her sexy outfits. Yeah, because this outfit, it's not really doing it for me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not, oh, well, now we can woohoo. Yeah, here we go. Right, go and um, go and get in your your cute outfit. Here we go. Let's go for let's go for the let's go for this one with the heels and everything. Oh my god, look at her! <laughs> look. Right, go and um, go woohoo. No, not in the shower. Just normal woohoo. Here you go. Oh, come on! Look at that. That is just too good. Look how good she looks. Pandooly. Oh, Daisy. I'm officially a dog parent now. I'd love to use to stop by if you have time to say hi. Oh. Well, I'm actually a cat person. I'm also quite busy, Daisy. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Captivating canine. That's cute. I love how she waited for him to go first in the bed, did she? See, she's a true queen. She even let him go first. All right, that is boss number five. Woohooed whiz. Boss number five is on off the checklist. So now I'm going to tell him that actually, you know, um, I actually don't think this is going to work. And I just think it's, it's too much to have in the office place. I'm more than happy to be friends though. But I think we should just like forget that this happened. Um... But I do need this promotion, so I'd really appreciate if we could still, you know, go through with that. That would be great. Yeah, he's understanding. Okay, great. Um, you can actually, you can actually leave now. And then I'm gonna go take a shower. Hey, honey, what's up? Honey's literally sitting here staring at me. Why is she so cute? Smash and dash. <laughs> Gia, be, Gia be like, I want it. I got it. <laughs> Honey is the clingy baby. She is. Honey is really clingy. Go off to your wife. Does he have a wife? Oh, yeah, he does have a wife. Oh, my God. Yeah. I forgot about this, actually. Actually, his wife would probably get super suspicious. If, uh, if, if she found out that he was like, um, well, obviously out too late. I'm sorry, but Gia is a hot uh, tamal. Tamal. I think even after she has a kid and gets married, she needs to keep these smexy outfits. Yes. I feel like she'll even be an elder. She'll be all wrinkly and she'll still be wearing these outfits. Okay. Are you stuck? Go and get out of the counter. What are you doing? Okay, game. Sometimes you really, <laughs> Sometimes you really confuse me. <laughs> um, What's the time? Like 10 p.m. When she goes to work tomorrow, she will end up with another promotion as well. So now we need to check who is her next level. 
of her boss. So she's going to be the regional manager when she goes in tomorrow and gets a promotion. So next up is a level six senior manager. So we need to find a co-worker of hers that is that... Um, what did I say? I can't remember. Senior manager, is it? Senior manager. Okay, I don't think we've added a senior manager. So we need to add a new victim because there currently is no senior manager. Uh, so we're going to need to add a new one in. <laughs> yeah, I could see her being a massive cougar. <laughs> victim. <laughs> I mean, they kind of are. They're a victim to her. They're a victim to our ploy. Oh my god. Do you guys see this? Carolina just got married to Robert. Robert is in our boss that we just slept with like a little while ago, which must mean he was in a relationship with Carolina. He was in a relationship with Carolina and he slept with us. Like what is wrong with these with these bosses of ours? They're so unfaithful. Lauren, there's a new realistic birth theme mod. I want you to check it out if you haven't seen it already. There's a natural birth plus a C-section. I can definitely see, definitely see Gia not wanting to push out the baby. But then also I could see Gia not wanting the scar from the C-section. So I feel like it would be like a catch, you know, 22 kind of thing. <laughs> Carolina looks like Fiona from Shrek. Not you doing Carolina dirty like that. Call it a bloody Shrek. Uh, oh, Fiona, sorry, not Shrek. We're close enough. <laughs> um, I am going to quickly hop off to the gym. I'm going to ask Hallie if she wants to come along for a quick little early gym sesh at 5am. Uh, no, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not. <laughs> we need the Christian Grey Sims version for level 10 boss. Yeah, we were thinking the same. Oh, she's sleeping. <laughs> Imagine she calls her and be like, Hallie, do you want to come out to the gym with me? It's just like, like, I'm sleeping. Like, we're working, like, in a few hours. Yeah, we could go to the gym, like, now. She's like, no. Like, I need to sleep. <laughs> you best believe I'm not going to work. Uh, or I'm not going to the gym at 6 a.m. before we before we work all day. <laughs> Conclusion. Gia doesn't want a baby at all. Is she... Gia said she'd be happy to be pregnant. That's what she said. Let me change it so that, like, it it's like time decides so that she can decide whatever she wants. But right now, she would be happy. Well, it does say it's part of the rules, right? It does say that. Um, can we can we have a like a class? Can we have like a nice brain boosting class? I need my brain boosted today. All right, let me go up there and ask. Um, because it does say in the rules that, or in the story, that Gia wants a child to continue her like dynasty. She reaches like nearly level 10 of the career and she decides to keep the baby in the end because she's like, well, you know, there needs to be somebody to carry on my, like, my family name and like carry on my, my wealth and my riches. And that's the only, that's the only reason that she ends up so keeping the child in the first place when she does get pregnant later on. So, are you going to go participate in the yoga class? Yeah, she is. Oh my God, look how good she looks. Oh, uh, Emma, you're wearing no clothes, my girl. And you're also quite pregnant as well. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, wait a damn minute. <laughs> Who would have thought she actually wants to be pregnant? It's like she, she, she feels the need for somebody to continue on her line, you know? Okay, can we just... Sometimes I just don't think I give Gia enough credit for how bloody gorgeous she is. Because sometimes I just stop and I'm like, can we just talk about it for a second? Because like, she looks incredible. Like she looks so good. <laughs> She's probably one of the, one of the prettiest Sims that I've had, I feel like for me. 
like uh, like made through genetics you know like not not like i've gone into creative sim and made them if that makes sense yeah this hair looks really good on her doesn't it like the, the ponytail i think it looks really sweet oh have i not changed the title oh my god have i left the title like this the whole time damn i can't believe i forgot about that <laughs> um yeah hold on let me quickly go and uh let me go um grab that title there we go i can't believe i forgot to change the title <laughs> such an idiot there we go part 22 perfect all right thank you for reminding me as well Respectfully looking at her booty while she was doing exercises. Okay, we're all out here respectfully looking too. We're all out here watching. <laughs> I'm excited to see what her future baby daddy's gonna look like. I'm so excited to like uh, make her future baby daddy. I think when she gets to like level eight, um, we'll go and make her future baby daddy, you know? Uh, and we'll do it on stream. We're gonna make like a, like a real like silver fox type of baby daddy for her um yeah i think i want to make like really attractive but also like kind of old as well <laughs> uh hi baloo i haven't tried to stream in months just wanted to say hi and hope everybody has a wonderful day no worries i hope you're doing good baloo oh thank you nm sorry i completely missed the save mind let me let me save now yeah we're gonna i'm gonna make it myself i think uh unless i try and make something and it's not good that would be the only reason that <laughs> <laughs> that we don't stick with whoever I make. Oh, she's enjoying this. Look, she loves wellness. Oh, look at her. Come on, Gia. Oh, you know what? You was right. Somebody said, I think, feel like I can see her, you know, her bubba poking out of that. I think it's kind of close. <laughs> it's certainly close. All right, why don't you come down and uh, come quickly take a shower as well? Imagine if she kills him with woo. -hoo. Oh no, elders can die, can't they? Oh my god! <laughs> no, that would that would actually be terrible. That would that, that would actually be really bad. <laughs> you go uh, use the toilet. Oh, she can do a pregnancy test from. Well, she did take her birth control, right? Here's when I realised that like her birth control's failed or something. No, no, no. She's on birth control. She's good. We need to go home because she starts work in an hour. So. Are you kidding me? She has lice again. What is wrong with all of these dirty men giving her lice? Like, what is wrong with all of these men? She needs parachutes. Do you think we should start getting them to wear like some some parachutes? Some more protection, you know, a sleeve. The office is definitely infested. <laughs> Maybe it's Gia. No, 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 no. Because it only happens every time she woohoos with somebody. So it's definitely not her. <laughs> Hi, Erin. How are you, sweets? We're good, though. We're, we're good. What have you been up to today? How, did you go to work? I'm guessing half nine. Did, did you have work today? I'm not sure. All right, you go. Um, you're going to have to go to work with Lice. I'm sorry, because you're not going to have enough time to go stop off at the shop before gym and um, we need to get promotion today so go uh yeah grab some food and then you're heading off to work in a sec somebody in the office is spreading lice around like hot cakes <laughs> disgusting disgusting <laughs> all right off you go to work and then make sure you go work hard today oh yep she's already doing it lovely okay she should come out with a promotion today and then she should be at level five which means that she's only got halfway left. And then when she obviously gets to level nine, she gets pregnant. Um, yeah, like I really, I really don't, don't care. So you can do whatever you want. All these people call me and ask me like what they think. And I just don't even know about their life. She's a quiet <laughs> crab life. 15 minutes later. Great. Uh, they're contracted through woohooing with infected sims or sleeping in infested beds. Great. Okay. 
I'm good. How was your day been? It's been good. It's been really good. I was working early, finished though, since it was quiet and uh, then got the bar closed and cleaned out. Uh, that's good. You got out nice and early today. That That's nice though. We love an early pop. Oh, <gasps> Raphael. Guys, congratulations on getting that big promotion at work. You deserved it. Oh, honestly, I really like Raphael. Like Raphael just holds this place in my heart, you know? I just... Oh, I really like Raphael. I feel like Raphael would ask her out on a like a business, not business, but you know, like they call it business. Ask her out on like a holiday or something. And then that's just so that they can have like a nice little relationship together and you know, have Happy some time. Happy 12 months, Lauren. So Hi, glad Jazzo. to have been watching you for so long and following you on your Twitch journey. <laughs> Today is my last day of class. Ooh, so that's I'm exciting. looking forward to getting to watch more of your streams in time. Ooh. Are you like completely finished after this or have like, or have you got like a break or something? How's that working? And also thank you so much for the whole year of support. That is absolutely crazy. I love you and I appreciate you being here and supporting me as well. Thank you so much. Hi D. Also, thank you for the follow earlier as well. Hi, welcome to the stream. How are you? Maybe we end up with him and he's the baby's stepdad. Oh, that would be cute. <laughs> Um, oh, she got promoted. She's now the regional manager. Guys, she's our regional manager. Come on. I mean, what is this outfit though? Like that is that is just not it. But she got promoted. She got a pie chart presentation. She got some new clothes and she also got the offer, career advice, interaction and more money. Amazing. Right. Maybe this weekend we'll... So, because I don't want her to take any time off of work. Um, so I think we might go, uh, today and, uh, oh, oh, we just, oh, we just turned up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess he just really wanted to see her, huh? Oh, look at him. He wanted to come around and like congratulate her for her promotion. Oh, okay. Let me invite him in. Come on in. I love Raphael. Like, I really like him. Yeah, we should see our family. I think we're going to go on holiday this weekend and also try and fit in seeing our family as well. We'll try and do both. Why is she going to go use a pad? No more mood swings. Yeah, you're on birth control. You shouldn't need that. So uh, now that it says that she has to get a college degree, we're going to go ahead and uh, use uh, cheats to get rid of that because I've made it part of the challenge where... I don't want my sim to have to go to university to get that that degree. I just don't think it's right for Gia to go to university. So I just want to uh, like cheat that one off because I don't want to send her to uni to go get the degree. It's part of a, a mod anyway. So it's it's not like we're cheating the original game. Who Who is this? Who even are you? Lila? Oh, oh, actually Raphael's fixing it. Don't even worry about it. You're, you're fine. <laughs> I love Raphael. I will excuse him from the time he watched Shia and boss number one. Woohoo. Wait, was it him that watched? Oh no. Was it him that watched? Oh my God. <laughs> He's like the only one who properly likes her and isn't a dirty sleeves bag. Yes. Yeah, he is. He really is. You want to join me? Oh, the bub. Oh, we could do the bubble blowers. Okay, hold on. But I've actually, um, I've actually got Raphael here and I think he wants to come along too. So I'll bring him along. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, Kira. Oh, sorry. Um, not hi. I was reading your messages. <laughs> but that was just my natural reaction to say it. Um, uh, can I just say, I'm really enjoying the diversity in this series. We started out with an Asian sim and now we have Gia who's multiracial. I can't wait to see how the rest of the airs turn out. I am really excited for Jen. Is it Jen... Because Gen 4's baby is also with somebody from Sulani, which means like the origin would have been like Polynesian, you know? So we're going to have like such like multicultural and like multiracial sims. I can't wait to see the genetics. I think they're going to be freaking gorgeous. I'm really excited. Um, All right. We've just turned up. Lovely. Hallie's here as well. Let's go uh, find ourselves a bubble blower and let's go do a little bit of bubble blowing together. Sit together and try. There you go. You go sit down. And she also wants to go get her nails done. So we'll have to go do that. 
It was Raphael. Oh, no. <laughs> Not Raphael was sitting there watching. He reminds me of AJ, and that's weird to me because that's her dad. I mean, they do say sometimes that, like, people go for somebody who reminds them of their dad because their dad, like, raised them and, like, they view... People view their dads as, like, strong figures, like, strong male figures in their lives, which I know sounds really weird when you're like, why would you be with somebody that looks like your dad? But they do say that people end up with uh, partners who are similar to their dads because they view them as, like, a strong figure to, like, look after them and things. Apparently, that's, like, part of science as well. I don't know. How is she enjoying the bubble blowing? Oh, she's high. Oh, it's dirty weed in there. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's... Oh, it's, uh... It's the weeds. <laughs> okay, um... Let me come and grab some food. Uh, some... Some pho. Hi, Mum. How are you? <laughs> Guys, say hello to my mum in chat. She's, uh, currently healing up after she just had, uh, her hip replacement today. In, so she just got out of surgery today. And now she's chilling in chat. <laughs> what is this music? What is this? <laughs> Festival music? It's, it's definitely an interesting one. Yeah, that's true. AJ was more attentive than the non-existent parent of Amelia. <laughs> uh, my mum is Teresa Little Stitcher in chat, if you guys don't uh, don't recognise her name in there. Are you going to go grab that food? Yeah, you go grab the food. You never got to get Fiona's autograph. She was right there. Wait, where? Is she gone? No, did I miss her? Damn, Fiona escaped. Oh, is she here? Oh my god! Should I get a photo with her? <laughs> I kind of want to do it just to see how she reacts and be like, oh hey, I I found out that you uh you actually got you know you just got married to Robert, and I actually realised that I ended up hooking up with Robert like like uh, probably like a few weeks ago. You guys are probably in a relationship then, so I just want to like let you know uh, that that happened. But I didn't know you guys were together. I mean, he said he was single, so like you know. <laughs> Let me go in and <laughs> let me go in with the drama. I want to see what she says. Let me go tell Fiona <laughs> that I slept with her husband. <laughs> Listen, babes, I think I slept with your husband. She's like trying to be. Oh, is she shooing her off? Why is everyone shooing her away? What did she say? Does she not care? <laughs> Let me just tell her like one more time. You know, like I don't really think, I don't really think she got it. Like, like I wahooed with your husband, and he was most definitely together with you. You don't care? Not even a little bit? Not even a tiny bit? Oh, now she doesn't like us. Oh. <laughs> She's too high to care. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Listen, it was it was really nice seeing you. I'm gonna get going now. <laughs> Why did she act like that? As if she didn't care though. They got a sentiment together now. Festering grudge. Carolina has a bad sentiment about Gia. Carolina has a deep-seated grudge against Gia. It's hard to forgive or forget the past, which may make being around Gia very unpleasant for Carolina. Oh, she just tried to, like, shrug it off as in, like, oh, like, don't worry about it. You know, like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, oh, I, you know, like, maybe we wasn't together then. But actually, she's like, oh, my God. She cheated. Oh, my husband cheated on me with her. Like, she was just trying to, like, you know. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> Was she pregnant and smoking the bubble blower? Don't tell me that. Don't, don't tell me that. 
<laughs> this lady is actually still at my doorstep. What is going on there? Oh, I don't even know. Um, what does she want to do? She wants to vent to somebody. Um, you could you could send a text to Raphael. Let him know that you're not feeling the best. Which is already green of jealousy. <laughs> true, actually, very true. Uh, we had Casey with the resub with Prime for 10 months as well. Thank you so much for the 10 months, Casey. And also a whole year nearly as well, which is absolutely insane. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Casey as well? And we also had Toril and Special K with the follows as well. Thank you guys for the follows. I appreciate that. Oh, I thought he fixed it. You know what? Just hire a repair service so that they can come and fix it because, I mean, you're not going to go get your hands dirty, are you? Dirty hands. This is barbaric. Call a trained expert to take care of this. Okay. They're coming. They're coming over. You can go to bed. Just let them let them fix it. <laughs> Are they coming over? Oh, I need to get rid of the Christmas decorations. I could buy a decoration box now. I could I could buy a nice decoration box. Here we go. Um let's just put it over in this corner. Hi, Sammy. I finally managed to catch a stream. We interacted on Twitter. Hi, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoyed today's stream as well. Um, what did we interact on on Twitter? Uh, what did what did we? Uh, what did what was we interacting on? What what post was it? Uh, yeah. Let me take down the decorations so that we don't have Christmas deckies up because it's like peak summer. It's a little weird. Oh, I still didn't have her go. Yeah, you can you can dislike handing us. That's fine. I still haven't had her gone to get the the treatment for the for the crabs. Let me go and get us some medicine. <laughs> have to go get my COVID booster. No worries, Ellen. Uh, we'll see you soon. I hope getting COVID booster is okay as well. <laughs> All right, you go take a shower, and then while you're in there, remember to go ahead and use your special shampoo. No more itching. Lovely. Our girl is free. Amazing. The creepy crawlers are gone. <laughs> Gia be giving everyone the crawlers. No, no, no. Everyone's giving Gia the creepy crawlers. Don't, don't be making it out like it's Gia's fault. This is not Gia's fault. Right, guys? What? I don't, I really don't care that you're going off the grid. Until the next time. <laughs> All right, go, um, go use the toilet. What's the time? 7 a.m. Oh, she's not got work. It's Saturday today. Oh, I thought she had one more day of work left. Oh, okay. Could we set up going on that holiday now then? Because I was thinking they could have a nice little like one, like one night holiday with Raphael. I mean, she's definitely in the mood. We should probably go and get our nails done before we go on holiday. Obviously, Gia is not going to go to on holiday without getting her nails done. So I'll go and grab... Um, I'll go and grab Hallie. Where'd she go? I'll go grab Hallie and I'll ask her if she wants to come with me to go get my nails done. And we'll, uh, we'll go to the spa. She slept with the last boy while still having them crawlers. Wait, did she? I forgot about that. <laughs> Friends with benefits to lovers. I was thinking maybe when they go out on this, um, when they go out on this, uh, uh, when they go out on this holiday, maybe Raphael could ask her if she wants to like become official with him. Because I imagine that Raphael doesn't know that she's like sleeping around with everybody at work. He's probably heard some things, right? Because obviously if she's sleeping with like multiple different bosses, he's probably heard that. Um, but maybe he's thinking like, you know, she'll settle down with me because she, you know, maybe she loves me. Um, but I don't know, whatever her reaction will be, like she can decide from there. Maybe she'll take him up on the offer be with him and then end up cheating on him you never know with with other bosses at the work but would he know that i guess not i guess it's not like super you know obvious all right come over here and um let's go request a pedicure from uh Shar Sharu. <laughs> i feel like she wouldn't want to become official with anybody but i don't know i'm gonna give her the option like 
I'm gonna ask Raphael to ask her and she'll have the option to say no or yes and then wherever she goes from there because Gia does need to have had four failed relationships she's already had two as a teenager she needs to have two more um before she obviously gets with her partner as an elder so she needs to have at least two relationships from there wait is a pedicure for a toenails is a pedicure feet <laughs> ah okay should we do matching should we do red on each should we do red or should we do white or like a peachy color Well, how do I get this wrong every time? <laughs> I don't understand how I get it wrong. A holiday color. Green, maybe? Or peach? Peach or green? They're quite holiday colors, aren't they? Or yellow. Yeah, actually yellow would look good on her too. I like the teal. Okay, let's go with, let's go with the teal color. Let's go for that on her feet. We could always go for a different color on her nails, can't we? Yes. There you go. Oh my god, I haven't seen this interaction. <gasps> How cute is that? Look, she pulled out a little like footstool. When? Okay, I'm really hoping. Did you? So there's um, there's a new Sims 4 roadmap coming out um next month actually. So hopefully in like the next like week or two, um, and I'm hoping that they're going to announce a new pack refresh because honestly. The Sims for a Spa Day pack refresh is honestly great. Like, it's a really, really good refresh. And there's a bunch of other packs that, like, need it more, you know? Like, they need this type of thing. So I'm hoping that we're going to get, like, a new pack announced. Hopefully a new expansion pack. And then also, um, yeah, I'm hoping that potentially we'll get some uh, pack updates as well. Yes, well, actually, I say that Dine Out needs it, but I've actually got a mod where it fixes it. So for me, Dine Out is kind of fine because everything works for me. Um, but for people that don't have the mod, I agree. But purely because I've got the mod, it, it works for me. There's other things where I think there needs to be more gameplay, like Island Living. Yeah, for sure. What mod is it? It's... Um, uh it's carl's difficulty overhaul mod and there's an add-on for it called dine out reloaded and it fixes dine out completely so whenever i go to restaurants now they're completely fixed um i'm gonna do a video on it it's actually included in my new video you know the one that i was talking about at the end of this week um on saturday or sunday the mods video that mod is in the video um which is i've been waiting to do a video on it for a while Yeah, that's it. Gameplay overhaul mod, but you need the dine out reloaded pack for the dine out fixes. He separated the mod into two different mods. Yes, mermaids need a pack refresh. Seriously, mermaids need to be fixed. Like, they're just useless. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Like, I really don't like tech. I'm, I'm good. Oh my god, look at them painting her toenails. So cute. <laughs> look at her cute little foot as well. <laughs> She's got such a sweet foot. <laughs> That's okay. That's no worries. Oh, is she enjoying it? Pedicure. Got a pedicure. I'm feeling fine. And then let's uh, request a manicure as well from the same guy. Um, and we'll get you a nice set. All right. So I wanted... Um, what should we go for, guys? Should we go for almond coffin? What are these? They're interesting. What one should we go for? We're getting a mods video. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. <laughs> I don't know what ones we should go for. A coffin shape. We want to go coffin? Something in here. Okay, what color are we thinking? Should we go with something holiday themed? So she has till for her feet. What about if we go for this? This um blue, blue and like light blue and a dark blue um, for the nails. It's It looks like wiggly things. So I don't know what it ends up turning out like, but like, I don't know. I feel like this could be quite cool. Yeah, that till like, I, yeah, that one. All right, let's go for that. Why is she sad? Worn away pedicure? Oh, what do you mean? Are you... 
Wait, you can't have a manicure and a pedicure at the same time? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Okay, I don't understand that. So proud to be a part of this Hi, awesome group. Shandria. Smiling face with hearts, Lauren, and the Aww. whole chat is the best. Oh, you're lollipop, so sweet. Lollipop. Thank you so much for the seven uh, months with Prime as well. Thank you so much, sweets. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Shandrea? And also we had uh, Ab with the follow as well earlier. Hi, Shella. How are you, sweets? How you doing? It's nice to see you again. I haven't, I haven't been around, so it's <laughs> it's nice to have you here. Look, when we uh, when we got her last pedicure done or manicure, I can't remember which one it is. Um, we would notice. Look how big the bottle is. That is such a massive bottle. <laughs> to like paint her nails, it's huge. I'm doing great. I'm I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad to be back. What have you been up to? I hope you've been uh keeping well as well. But keeping yourself busy and well. You know exactly how that room smells of varnish. I love the smell of varnish though. Don't you just love the smell of like a nail salon? I really enjoy it. All right, there you go, you done? Oh no. And also before we leave, I also want that fizzy drink too. Make the most of that. <laughs> Make sure you grab that, that alcoholic beverage before we leave. <laughs> we did have two tech streams, we did, but we fixed all the tech issues. So I'll take that one. I'll take it. She wants to find a collectible. Maybe we could buy one instead. Oh, Joella wants to go on a date. Yeah, sure. She needs a she needs a uh, a, a wig or a weave or a, a hair or something. Look at our holiday nails. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god. Look at them nails. Look at her holiday nails. Oh, cute. They are cute. I mean, they are they are a holiday look. What about her toenails? I don't think she can have both. Oh no, from getting both a manicure and a pedicure. You got the works. But it says she worn away her pedicure. I think when she put her shoes on, she like messed up her pedicure. That must have been it. Because um, like as soon as she put her shoes on, it said that. Oh, that guy's just having an argument. All right, I want to set up our holiday now. Is there is there a rental lot already in Sulani? We might need to go and place one for her to go to. I think she's like ready for her... Um, I think she's ready for a holiday now and her and Raphael can get going for like the night in Sulani. Go and uh, get their tan on. It'll be super nice. I'm excited. <laughs> he's going to pay though. He's definitely going to pay because I imagine he's the one inviting us. So, you know, it's like, makes sense. <laughs> They're very beachy. They are perfect for Instagramming while she's at the beach. I'm going to get him to take like loads of photos of her, like while she's posing in a bikini. And I'm going to post it all over her Instagram so she can like, you know, get famous as well. She's going to be known as like that really like attractive, like girl boss who's like really far up in her career as well. Like nearly owning the business. Yep, that's our queen. <laughs> all right. So I need a rental lot. So there's one rental lot here. It's called the Reef Rhino... What? The Reef Finery. Um, and I was thinking we'd do something a little bit different. Mom, thank you for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Guys, can we get some love in the chat for my mom, please? She just gifted some subs. Uh, please go ahead and say thank you. <laughs> How sweet is that? Um, let me, let me, um, let me change this one. I wanted something a little bit more luxurious. Let me, let me change this one instead. This one looks luxurious, but needs a little something. Right? How generous is my mommy? <laughs> let's go mama lolly <laughs> oh mom did you know that the girls are in the in the office with me while i've been streaming they've been um interesting <laughs> they they didn't sit down to begin with and constantly kept getting up and like sniffing everything and like eating everything especially bonnie bonnie was like jumping up at me and wanting to cuddle <laughs> you guys are cute all right so this is the current rental lot that's here should we should we stay here it looks a little bare to be honest not really what i had in mind for them is like that really nice rental lot i think we might change out for something else sleepy and naughty puppy yep yeah that's our girls yeah they're being good now they're laying down and sleeping now they're not too bad <laughs> 
All right, lots. Uh, I want a 40 by 30 and I want a rental lot. Can you search up rental? Retail, no. Wait, do, do I just have to make it a rental lot? Is that how it works? I guess so. Let me just do... Um, What would it be called? Would it be called rental? I was thinking like villa. Let me look up rental first. Uh, MK with the follow as well. Thank you so much for the follow sweets. Uh, and I'll also do searching by most popular. Um, ooh, these look nice. Sulani rental bungalows. Oh, oh wait, didn't we stay here before? I swear I've stayed here before with one of my other Sims. Didn't I stay there? I think I did. She's getting so needy. Sorry, I'm not there to take them off your hands. That's okay. You're, you're busy in a hospital resting. <laughs> I'd rather take them off your hands <laughs> whilst you're uh, getting your relaxation. Um, I really like these. Let me Let me put them down and have a look. I'm missing my puppy love and little chick cuddles. The girls will have lots of cuddles to give you when you get back. I bet they're gonna miss you. They're probably gonna go crazy when you come in. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Oh my God. That's so, oh, okay. Yeah, this is a lot more what I had in mind for them. Yeah, that's it. That's that's more of what I had in mind for them. Yeah, that's good. Oh, and there's a little place to go play as well, like a bar, go play ping pong. Yeah, this is good. I think Raphael would like that. Yeah, we've got to stay there, right? <laughs> I mean, I want to stay there, so I think we'll all go there too. <laughs> mm. Oh, I didn't set it as a rental lot. I can't do it from here, can I? No. All right, hold on. Let me go back in and do it. <laughs> How's your hip feeling now, mum? Is it fe is it feel? Are you starting to like feel it a bit more now, or like does it not hurt too bad? I don't want a realm of magic worlds. It only had four or five lots, and the lots were ugly. I was impressed with Tortosa. They should make a world like that. I can't trust EA with making good packs. Honestly, the world design team for all of the packs, I feel like they're all so good. Like, um, New Crest is okay, but those are a lot of like suburban styled, you know, like lots. So I don't really mind old worlds. So I don't mind those too much. But like the most recent worlds, like Sulani, for example, and all these other ones, they are just too good. Like, they are so good. I'm going to make it a rave location. Wait, I've never s rave location. I didn't know that was an option. I've never seen that one before. Okay, let me swap it to rental again. Yeah. Yeah, Sulani was perfection. Sulani is still, to this day, one of my favorite worlds. But I also really, really like Tortosa. That's a really, really nice world as well. Um, I'm trying to think of what other worlds I really like. Some of my favorites. Um... I think those are my, I think those are my favorites. <laughs> Do I never normally say it right? I just got out of bed for my first wee. It's sore now, but it is drug time at 10. So we'll drift off to sleep to the sound of your voice. I'm glad that I could, uh, I'm glad that I can be here as your, like as your, your, um, your lullaby. <laughs> oh, Henford on Bagley is really good too. I see a lot of you guys have said that you love Windenburg. I don't like Windenburg that much. Like I like it, but like not that much. Yeah, a lot, I've heard a lot of you guys say that you like Windenburg, but it's not my favorite. It's not. Yes, I really, really like um, the snowy escape world. I'm trying to think of uh, Mount Komorebi. Mount Komorebi is a really good world too. I want a country world. Could we get like the Sims 4 horses with a country world, please? Give me Appaloosa Plains 2.0. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> just just give me it. <laughs> um, oh, she can't travel because she doesn't have a passport yet. Well, how do I get her a passport? 
Oh, book travel reservations? Maybe it's in here. Hi, Alexandra. How have you been, babe? With the 12 months as well, resub. Thank you so much, sweets. I appreciate you. I miss being on streams. I hope everybody's doing well. I've been catching up on all the last streams. I'm also 22 weeks pregnant. <gasps> Alexandra, congratulations. You're so close as well, though. Um, everything has been going great. I just wanted to pop in and say how much I've missed you all. We've missed you too. I hope pregnancy is going okay. And also, we really missed you as well. Oh, yeah. I really wish we could have... Um, oh, first class or economy... I mean, I would say that he would fly us out first class, but honestly, he's a bit lower than us in the career. So I feel like he's not going to have that much money. So I feel like economy is definitely the best way to go. So we'll do economy. Um, she's booked reservations, paid the fare. Um, uh, make travel reservations. Thank you for traveling us. We have your choice in travel. Okay, fine. So now has she got her passport and we can go? No. Okay, guys, how do I get her a passport? Oh, wait, book travel renovated. Hold on. Maybe we go into here instead. Maybe this is it. What is this music? What is this? I don't know. I don't know. Pregnancy has been amazing. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Um, make a deposit. Let's just do the 50. Uh, she's booked a rental and made a deposit. Um... Okay, so that's done. What else do I need to do? Is that it? Okay, how do I get her a passport? How do you do that? <laughs> I've got to go on the computer. Great. Okay, let's go travel to the library. <laughs> I can't believe I've got to go to the library because she didn't have a computer. You know what? At this point, I should just buy her a laptop. You know what? Let's just go home. I'll just buy her a laptop. Because she needs... I mean, come on. She works in the business career. You're telling me she doesn't have a laptop to work from home? Like, she probably works all the time. And she's going to need a laptop. She's going to go to, like, Sulani. She needs to be able to, like, work and things, right? So let's have her go home, buy herself a laptop, and get a passport. So we can actually go... Wait, imagine, like, we have to wait for it to turn up in the mail. That's actually... <laughs> Please don't be like that. I hope when she applies for the passport, we get it, like, immediately. Because if we have to wait, then we're not going on holiday this weekend. We'll have to wait for next weekend. We'd have to just, I don't know. Isn't a laptop like 4K? I don't think it's that expensive. It shouldn't be. She might even have one in her inventory, to be honest. I think she did have one. Um. Ah, no. Okay, I think I sold it. Never mind. Let me uh let me grab her one from here. All right, let's grab her this. I'll grab her in the red, of course, a staple piece for our girl. Oh, look how nice that laptop is. Beautiful. What laptop is that? By Peacemaker. Ah, oh, Peacemaker always makes us good stuff. Hi, Lily. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream as well. How are you, sweets? Um, all right, come in here. And I need to A Deep Indigo. Sim nation travel. Are you kidding me? Okay, start application for passport for Gia. <sighs> it's an application, guys. <laughs> Come on, she literally went out and got her holiday nails and toenails. And now you're telling me that... Oh, yeah. Look! <laughs> look how cute she looks. And now you're telling me that she can't because she hasn't got a passport. She even pulled out oh. her cute hat. Come on. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Reese, leave me alone, please. <sighs> okay, right, we're applying for the passport. Hopefully I get to like get it ASAP. Sure, try for that baby, whatever you wanna do. All right, thanks for filling out the official passport document. You will need to travel to a passport office and have this documentation authenticated. Once you have done so, you should receive your passport via the method and shipping service speed you select. Okay, good, right. I want like whatever the quickest is. Sim nation travel. So like, how do I go now? Right. They only, <laughs> they're only open on Saturdays between nine and 12. 
okay, that's fine. You know what? Instead of going on holiday tonight, we'll go on holiday tomorrow. And instead, I will go and ask my family if they want to come out, go out for dinner tonight. Um, because we are most certainly not going to be... Um, <laughs> not going to be going on holiday today. So let me uh, grab my mum and my dad. Where's AJ? AJ. And then I'll grab Alba as well. And then I'll invite them out uh, for some lunch or something. <laughs> I can't believe it is this much effort to get a passport. Like in game, it's like as much effort in real life. <laughs> All right, let's 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 find somewhere nice to go for dinner. Um, Let's try... Is there anything in Evergreen Harbour? Uh, oh, there is. Love and Peas. That sounds cute. Let's go there. Alba is torso-less. Oh, no. Don't tell me that. <laughs> uh, Sieb with the follow as well. Thank you so much for the follow, Sieb. Do you now only use Maxis Match? I only use Maxis Match for hairs, um, but I use, like, um, alpha everything else. But I'm still open to using specific alpha hairs. Like, there are a few, like, alpha hairs that I would want to use. Like, there's a few by Sonia Sims, who I really like, um, who I might install those for, like, wedding hairs and things. Purely for, like, really pretty screenshots and, like, for special occasions. But for general hairs, uh, definitely I'm going to stick with Max's Match. All right. Oh, this is actually so cute. Wow, what a cute restaurant. All right, let me ask um, to come and sit at this table. Because I actually haven't seen my mom or my dad or my sister. I haven't used the pregnancy labor mod yet. Is it good? Is it a good mod? I don't know if it's compatible with all my um, like all my mods that I've got. I'm not sure if it's like compatible with everything. I haven't seen my sister since I've literally left. She's a young adult now. She's not even a teenager anymore. Should probably give her a makeover. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lovely. Let me go and um, order for the table. Hi, mum. How you doing? You seem like you're in a bad mood as always. Um, I'm going to go grab a nice wine. I'll grab uh, my mum another wine. I'll grab a... I'll grab Alba a wine too. And I'll grab a... Um, I'll grab a buffalo wing tea for dad. And then for starters, we'll go for the... Pizza and hummus. Me and Alba actually will go for that. And then I'll grab um I'll grab a grilled um banana for our mum and vegetable tempura for dad. There you go. Oh my god, it's expensive. This restaurant is. <laughs> Everyone loves it, really. I should try it out or at least do like a video on it to see what I think of it. I thought you were talking to me then. <laughs> oh, what? When I said mum? <laughs> In fact, where is her mum gone? Oh, she's coming back down. Okay, nice. All right, then. This is a really, like, cozy little restaurant, isn't it? Like, how sweet is this? With the fire behind them and everything? That's sweet. All right, let me um let me talk to my mum. I want to ask her, like, what she's been up to. So I'm going to ask about her day. Um, and I'm also going to talk to AJ as well, my dad. Let me, um... Mm. I'm going to brag about my job title and be like, Dad, have you heard? I just got another promotion again. Yeah, I've been doing so well in my job. Like, you know, pretty high up, by the way. Like, nearly own half the company now. I don't know if you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll brag about my job title to my sister as well. Of course. Uh, Mm. The alcohol's making her feel like a Casanova. Oh, she had some alcohol earlier, I see. From the spa. I see. Oh, look at her. Feeling important. The best thing about working at a megacorp is being able to lord your power over others. Why is that Gia to a T? Like, oh, I can ask about hobbies. Hi, Dad, what have you been up to? And also, let me ask my mum as well. Let me ask my mum my mom what she's been up to. What have you been up to, Dad? What's been keeping you busy? Anything? Did you tell us anything? No? Okay. I want to know more about Alba too. 
Let me. I want to know about her like extra traits. Let me um. Let me get to know her a little bit more. The labor took six sim days. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's that's pretty long. I know my mum was in labor with me for like 28 hours or something, which is a lot. Like. <laughs> um oh she learned that alba's mischievous you know what i always kind of got that impression about alba too though i always got the impression that she was a little mischievous you know so that kind of makes sense let me go and brag about my nails hey do you see my holiday nails i'm going on holiday tomorrow as long as my passport turns up i've actually got a guy that i'm seeing from work and um he's actually taking me on a holiday tomorrow so i went out and got holiday nails she's like oh they're so nice <laughs> I'm so excited for the weekend as it's a long weekend in UK. Monday's off. Oh, I didn't know that. Enjoy the long weekend off, uh, gaming. What's her mum doing? I think her mum was like complimenting us or something. Um, let me um, complain about nails. No, brag about your nails. Show, show your mum your nails too. There you go. Dad, are you going to eat that vegetable tempura? Or like not? What's going on here? those nails deserve to be shown off i mean if they are not there by the time that i get to sulani tomorrow i will lose it guys do you recognize who this is <laughs> that is my dad's brother aka our uncle who by the way is looking suspiciously young like he has gray hair, but everything else about him looks like 20 years old. <laughs> he's not aged today, is he? Whereas our dad, I mean, he's aged, but like, come on, he's such a snack still. <laughs> Black don't crack, that is what they say. Poor AJ, he did get the sort of the short end of the stick here though, but that's purely because I wanted him to age as much as Amelia. So I felt it was only fair. I mean, Amelia, actually, Amelia probably needs a bit of a makeover as well because I think she needs to, because now she's like old, right? Like how long has Amelia got left? Like they, they've got to be old, old. She's got 18 days left. Yeah, like they need like, they need an updated skin. I'm sorry. I need to go in and do it. Also, I'm going to give Alba like a new hair or something while I'm in there because she looks super young. Now she's a young adult. It kind of doesn't make sense that she'd be like looking like she's like 15. <laughs> oh my god oreo is still alive oh how sweet oh well, i guess if diamond's alive that kind of makes sense actually all right mum, i am so sorry to do this to you amelia like you know how much i love you but i actually think um i actually think it needs to go down so i'm just gonna go and uh oh Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe not that one. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, mum. Oh God. I mean. <laughs> not the turkey neck. <laughs> Why? Why did you call it the turkey neck? Okay, this outfit just is not gonna cut it anymore, is it? This is just. <laughs> is that. <laughs> Is that a hair? I can't. I just can't tell. This is the right skin, right? This is. Oh, it's not the. Oh, that's the guy version of it. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That's the right version. That's it. <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. I can't believe we aged her that quickly. Oh my god. All right. Let me give her let me give her an outfit. Right. Amelia always had a really sweet style. Um, but obviously she's a little, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> she's a little bit older now, of course. I'm gonna give us a nice pink. <laughs> <bottoms>. <laughs> I'll give her some nice pink bottoms. 
What can we go for? These are just, no, these are not, these are not cutting it for me. She has chest hair. Yeah, okay, we got rid of it. <laughs> it was just a little temporary chest hair situation. You know, when you get older, it does grow in some random places. So, you know, I guess, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Bit of chest hair? Never bothered anyone, did it? Oh my God. Not that. Not that. What are these outfits? I don't know what to give her. What do I what do I put her in? I feel like she'd be the type of old lady to wear jogging bottoms. Is that bad? I feel like she would wear jogging bottoms. I wonder why her and AJ have been having marital issues. It scares him. He looked down one day and was like, whoa. <laughs> Um, all right, what top should we go for with this? Um, T-shirt with it, yeah. I definitely think she'd wear like more of a casual sort of look, you know? So maybe just, well, I kind of was thinking like a shirt, but like a pink shirt, not shirt, but like T-shirt, you know? Um, or maybe something like that. We got it in a pink. But that, no. Does this come in a pink? Oh, okay, that works, but not with the jogging bottoms. Maybe with some jeans. I'm trying to think of like what, what jeans like older ladies wear. I always feel like I give my Sims the same jeans. I always just give them these jeans because they're very like mum shaped. So to me, <laughs> well, they're mum, they're mum jeans, aren't they? So to me, it's like, they make sense. But I don't know. We've got other options. I, got, I can't keep giving my Sims the same jeans over and over, can I? I mean, those are fine as well. Make it pink for the vibes. Yeah, for sure. She definitely wear pink. I've never seen my grandma in jeans. My, does my nan wear jeans? Yeah, I think so. I think my nan wears jeans. Yeah, I think she does. <laughs> I think she looks good. I think she still looks good. And also, I'm really sorry, AJ, but you are also gonna need a little bit of an update too. Um, I'm gonna have to make you look even older than what you do now. You've got, oh, actually, I think you actually looked younger with that skin on. Somehow he just looked younger than he did before. That's all I wanted to do for him. Just give him a little bit more wrinklage just so they're matching up a little bit. And then Alba needs um, a new hair. Here we go. Right, get rid of that and we'll give Alba a nice new hair. She's still young, so I don't want to go for anything like anything too old. But then also she, she is older now, you know, like I don't want to give her anything that's too young. King is aging backwards. I don't think we'll ever have an issue with AJ aging. He just gets hotter as he ages, you know? He just gets more and more attractive. Ooh, I like that on Alba. What do you guys think of that? I think that suits Alba really, really well. Do we have the little clips that we could put in it? Where were those little clips that she had in it? Hmm. Mm -mm. where were they those little clips look so cute no i cannot have them yeah it's a cute hair isn't it i feel like it suits her as well that's the only issue now i have so many accessories like i find it so difficult to find anything tell me if you tell me if i go past those little clips Have I gone past them? Alba is so cute. She is. Alba really grew on me like later on in the series. Obviously to begin with, you guys know, I, I wasn't really the biggest fan of Alba. Not like I wasn't the biggest fan, but she didn't really do it for me. She didn't really have much personality. And now I really love Alba. Like she, yeah, after the makeover. Yeah, you're kind of right. 
I don't think I can find the little clips. That's fine. We don't have to put the clips in. And then I think I'm going to give her... What is, so what does she like? She She's a young adult, isn't she? She's uh, she's squeamish. She's a child of the ocean. She's a cat lover and she's also mischievous. Okay. Um, I kind of want to give her, yeah, something a bit more like this. Where's that cloud one? I kind of like that. And then pair that with something. I imagine her moving to Sulani. So I was thinking about like a Sulani type outfit, you know? Um, like something like that. Maybe pair it with some sandals or maybe, maybe that. <laughs> After her little surgery. I mean, look, it, she needed a little bit of help. No one can blame her, okay? No one can blame her for the help. But now look at her. She looks great. <laughs> she looks incredible now. <laughs> um... Oh, that's kind of cute. I think that's the matching top to it or something. Hmm, okay. Maybe something like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to give her. It's difficult to match up a top with this skirt. Yeah, she's got hips for days. She really does. Maybe just a nice little plain top. Yeah, I kind of like that. And pair it with some sandals. Mm. Mm. I was thinking like, where are they? Like gladiator sandals? Yeah, like in white. Okay, that's good. We're like matching in straps, you know? I think it's fine. I mean, it's not the best outfit I've ever made in my life, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, Alba, I'm probably gonna move her out as well now that she's a bit older. I'll move her into Sulani. And then that way, like, we can go and see her and stuff. Maybe when we go out um, with, uh, when we go out with Raphael uh, tomorrow on holiday, we could go see Alba because she lives in Sulani. Yeah, our next gen is in Sulani as well. Next gen. So basically Gia's, um, Gia's uh, son or daughter is uh, in Sulani. Yeah. They end up um, moving now. Because they want to become a eco ecologist. What are they called? Conservationist? Or a, I, can't, I can't say the other word. Is it eco ecologist? Ecologist? Oh, I don't know. We're just going to call it conservationist. Anyways, uh, they want to become a conservationist. So they go into biology and then into university. And then they go to be a conservationist. Eco... Logist. Ecologist. Uh, wait, ecologist? Ecologist? Damn it, I can't get it right. <laughs> wait, did everybody leave? Oh, damn, everybody left. I guess that was it. Well, I gave them a makeover. That's okay. Yeah, such cute CC. Thank you. I've I've got a massive collection of CC. And recently just updated a bunch as well, so... Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it a wraps here with today's stream. By the way, guys, could we just uh, quickly take a look at our queen and, you know, appreciate her a second before we leave. So um, is the next gen rule somewhere I can read already? They are not up just yet, uh, but they will be up over the next few weeks. Over the next few weeks, they'll be up. Before Gia gets pregnant with gen four, they'll be up. So yeah, I'm excited. I've already got the notes written down. Just haven't got the full story written up. Yeah, so next time I'll see you guys is on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to play Life is Strange or if we're going to play something else. So I'm not really sure yet. Um, but we can always decide on the day if need be. So I will see you all later. Thank you so much for coming and uh, watching the stream with me. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. I will see you all um, on Wednesday if you're around on Wednesday. If not, you can always watch the VODs back on YouTube or on Twitch as well. I love you guys so much. I'll speak to you later. And yeah, have an amazing rest of your morning, afternoon, evenings, whatever time it is for you. We are also going to go do a raid as well, but I'll leave you guys on the ending soon screen and then I'll swap you guys over. So have an amazing rest of your mornings or afternoons or evenings, whatever time. And I'll see you later. Thank you for coming and spending the stream with me. And yeah, uh, make sure you go and watch the YouTube video that went out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, all my links are below on the stream. Okay, I love you guys. Bye, see you later. Bye.